In this video, we're going to talk about working with render layers in Octane for Cinema 4D. And for this video, I'm using the Cantina.C4D scene. Let's start by creating some layers for some of the objects in our scenes. I'm going to expand the characters group here. I'll select the Barbot group. That's this little dude right here. And I'm going to choose tags C4D Octane object tag. And I will click over here on object layer. Let's set the layer ID to 10, just an arbitrary number, but easy to remember. Let's go to the space pilot, this guy right here. And again, let's go to Cinema 4D Octane Tags, Octane Object Tag, Object Layer section. Let's set the layer ID of the pilot to 20. And now let's go into the Octane Live Viewer window and let's start a render going. Okay, so you can see it's rendering the whole scene. So let's go to uh, render, render settings, edit render settings. And I'm going to add Octane Renderer here. And let's go over to render passes. And you can see down here there's render layer. I can enable this. And if I set it to 10, you would expect to just see the robot rendering since he is on render layer 10. Um, but the issue is that you also have to enable render passes. So if I enable render passes and enable render layers and set my layer ID to 10, I see just all the objects on layer 10 rendering. So in that case, it means a robot. If I set layer ID to 20, we have our pilot on layer 20 and you can see he's rendering. Of course, all the lighting is coming through as well is a great way to separate objects into different render layers.